This is very interesting. Look at this. Wow. Today's adventure takes us here to Galloway Cemetery in LaSalle County, Illinois. Now this cemetery, the first settler of LaSalle County is buried in this cemetery and it goes back to the late 1820s. Now there used to be a stairway here beyond this sign and that was the way to get up. They have taken that stairway out because it was a little bit dangerous and old and now you can actually drive up through a stone path because this cemetery does sit high up on this bluff. So come with me as we explore Galloway Cemetery. So the story on this cemetery, like I said, it goes back to 1830s. It was uh, James and Sarah Galloway came here with their four kids back in 1826. There's one here. This person died in 1860 it looks like February of 1862 so James and Sarah Galloway came here with their four kids back in 1928 and um, I'm sorry 1920 1826 and their son George was born in 1828 unfortunately when George was two his mother Sarah passed away and it goes that their neighbor actually cut down a walnut tree and built a coffin for Sarah and Sarah is in the cemetery George when he was born in 1928 was the first baby born in LaSalle County uh, and Sarah uh, was the first one in this cemetery. And both James, Sarah, and George, or all three of them, are buried in this cemetery. It's a nice one, Isaac Gage, 1815 to 1886. And Lucy, 1820 to 1890. James Batkin, he died in 1886, 69 years old. Ida, wife of John Batkin, died in 1884. And as you can tell, as we came in, we were on a pretty steep grade, so this is high up on a bluff. more recent markers. World War II veteran there. Rose Schwartz, Ivor Schwartz. I wonder what the story is with this. So we have some metal posts in the ground here. And we have this old one. James F-A-R-R-E-L, Farrell maybe, Nancy his wife, and you can see a big concrete area behind it, interesting, I wonder if there was a mausoleum there at one time that has since been dismantled. Mary and Louise Hanna, 1903 to 1984. 
Erwin Hanna, 1865 to 1923. Emily, Henry, Galloway. That's a lot of good at the bottom there. A lot of family names. You can read the dates. This is very interesting. Look at this. Wow. How old is this? Holy cow. Wow. First thing I notice is the Freemason symbol. Uh, hard to read. John, perhaps? Uh, see something with 1870. Old stone there. This is an interesting one. This is, uh, I don't know what that is. Look at it, it's like dented there, but it's, I don't know what that's made out of. It doesn't feel like metal. I don't know. Hannah Howland, mother of JT Howland, died August 1869, 83 years old. Look at this, 1877, this is a, uh, Underground mausoleum. Do not know who is in there. That is really neat. That is really, really neat. Elizabeth Moore, M O O A R. April 21st, 1833 to 1910. You can see a light, a little bit of moss on that. That's, that's neat, neat top to that. Mausoleum is just so cool. 1877. Wow. Here's some Galloway headstones here. First one I come across is William Galloway, 1868 to 1951. And then uh, Eliza, 1874 to 1944. Here's an old one. Must be military. Unreadable. Look at this old fence. It said we're high up on a bluff. Look at that fence. That fence is great get more Galloways Edward and Clara Wow this one's very old Let's see if I can make out anything on that I can't. Not able to make out anything on that. All right, I'm gonna go up over here. I think the uh, Galloway plots, more of them are over here. I wonder if I can read something on that. Yeah, February. 28th, that's cut off. Aged, uh, something 23 days. That's too bad. That's something powers. Uh, still can't quite make out the year. 18 something. 
48 it looks like. Let's see if I can put the rest of this together. There we go. J and N powers. Looks like maybe daughter of J and N powers. Well, that's good. Got a little information off of that one. But these are all just in the ground. And this is this is what I was looking for right here. We've got James Calloway. He died in 1863, so he was the first settler here in LaSalle County. He's the one that came here in 1826. And then uh, I believe next to him here, right here, that should be his wife, maybe. No, I'm looking at it. Matilda, wife of James Galloway. So this must be his second wife. This is his first wife, Sarah. She's the one that died. Yeah. Apparently we have people that are hard of hearing driving by. Last in their stereo. This one is knocked over. See the bad thing about these being knocked over, especially face up, is that they're they're subject to all the elements. And then they Hard to read. I see sun. Let's see if I can wipe this off a little bit. Please stand by. Your call is very important to us. All right. Sorry. Just wanted to read this. I can make out some stuff here. Thompson, I see Thompson, uh, March 20-something, 18-something, yeah, it's kind of hard to make that out yet. Maybe you can make that out at home. It's a little difficult to make that out for me anyways. I'm trying to hold the flashlight, hold the camera, you know, crouch down, and, uh, read all while trying to uh, keep my sunglasses from falling off the top of my head okay Elizabeth wife of who is Elizabeth the wife of something Thompson there we go August 30th 1877 age 30 years very young More Galloway's here. John Galloway, 1839 to 1912. Caroline, his wife, 1844 to 1915. I'm not sure what relation. So I guess if it's John, could have been one of James's kids with his second wife. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, as James did get remarried after Sarah passed away. And these might be the grandkids then, Louise and Lloyd. Oh, here's George, here's George Galloway. And, and here, oh, here's the uh, marker that tells you the story. First white male child born in LaSalle County. 
son of James and Sarah Galloway, who settled in Fall River Township, 1826. Wow. Here's George and his wife, Ann. This is interesting. Very interesting monument. It is uh, obviously been destroyed over the years and is now missing some parts. I'm sure they had some nameplates on it like this. Merely Mary Hallbrook Ford, wife of Darius Reed, born in eighteen twelve, died eighteen eighty one. And then Mary Alvinia Reed died eighteen forty five. Eighteen forty five. Wow. And leaning up against the Reed Monument. this tombstone all right let's see what we can find out with this one I'm trying to read it through the camera here because it's easier George can't quite make out the last name I see an R E N Henry maybe That's about all I can make out what an incredible cemetery. Absolutely incredible. Here's an interesting one. It has a lamb there. There's no sense in doing the flashlight. It's in direct sunlight. Aaron. I'm sure Aaron was a, a baby. Maybe you can make that out at home. Having a little bit difficult time reading that here in the sunlight. Really remarkable stuff. That's going to do it from today from Galloway Cemetery. Another one that just blows my mind going back to the 1820s and the first settler of LaSalle County and the first baby born in LaSalle County. Just amazing and a mausoleum that's 1877 so this mausoleum's 100 and almost 150 years old those doors don't seem like they're locked either but yeah no i'm not going to try to open that so thank you for joining me today and until next time keep exploring